Oh, I didn't see you there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm recording this to show you how I take notes off of the text that I have to read, right? So like I've told you before, I got through a master's degree by doing this, but this is kind of an example of me doing it live so you can see what I'm doing. So the first thing I do is that I write the title of my notes and um, I use a, a program called Notion, but, but that's just me. You can do this on any program. You can do this on your notebook. You can do this on a, on a Google document or a real notebook, wherever you want to do it. So the first thing I do is that I write my title and then I look for any kind of subheadings or headings that I need to include. Since there's none in this specific section, what I did is that I just started to take notes. So I kind of read this topic sentence here as news of the Spanish continue to spread wealthy hungry Spaniards poured into the new world seeking land gold and titles. So this kind of reminds me of the gold rush in the 1840s. And so I kind of wrote that here rush to get from Spain to the new world. Right. And so I'm going to capitalize that. And then as I keep going, I notice that in the next paragraph, this paragraph is specifically about the economic system of the new world, right? So I have a, a bullet point here that I wrote about encomienda and what it was, but I'm just gonna write a heading here, right? And so I'm gonna convert this into a heading and I'm gonna write economic here, okay? Because to me, this signals a talk about the economy, right? And you could say that this first one is also about the economy, so I could kind of pull this one in here. Now, it's gonna talk about, this specific paragraph is gonna talk about encomienda, and it's also gonna talk about repartimiento. These two Spanish terms are economic systems that the Spanish sort of put in place in the new world in order to get profits and in order to use the native people as a labor force. And so I kind of wrote down some details and then as I kept reading, I noticed that in this paragraph, it's just sort of talked about how the Spanish kind of kept on expanding their empire and kept on conquering more people. And those two people that I wrote there were the Maya and the Inca, right? And then I noticed that in this paragraph here specifically, this topic sentence talks about something a little different, right? So notice what it says here, militaristic migrants from Northern Mexico, the Aztecs, moved south into the Valley of Mexico, conquered their way to dominance and build the largest empire in the new world. So this right here specifically is gonna talk about the beginning of Tenochtitlan, that city that we looked at before. And it's gonna talk about how it developed. So I don't really need that here under economic, right? But I do read along and I read ahead, right? So it says here, from their island city, the Aztecs dominated an enormous swath of central and southern Mesoamerica. They ruled their empire through a decentralized network of subjects of subject peoples that paid regular tribute. Ooh, so there's another economic item that I can include, right? So I'm gonna put that here. Aztecs collected tributes from neighboring tribes. And this is sort of how I do it, guys. I just kind of go along, and if there's something that I need to add here as a supporting detail, I'll just throw it in there, all right? But I keep going, and, and I kind of don't look back. This is why I'm kind of scrolling along and I'm kind of moving fast because I just rather get exposed to the material and I'd rather get some details later. Uh, and th that's sort of a system that works for me and it's helped me get through a lot of reading. And to be quite honest with you, authors do this on purpose. They'll provide you with a nice supporting, nice, I'm um, sorry, introductory sentence and supporting details inside the paragraph just so that you can get kind of used to the structure that they write in. This is a very predictable structure if you know what I mean. All right, so I hope this was helpful for you.